With swords. Wow. Hey, welcome to Attack of the Show, everybody. Yeah. Mm, smells like beef. The TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. I'm Kevin Ferrer. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Olivia Mann is out today with a case of the old Bioshock flu. So joining me again is Allison Hastings. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. Good to be seen again. We are coming you're, to you live. You're bedressed again. I am bedressed and booted again. You're booted and bedressed. Just the way you like me. Mm. One of the ways. Oh. One of the ways. Snap. On the show today, a rather good video that's an invitation to gaze at a potato. Yeah. It's funny, it's repetitive, and it's around the net. And then we're going to take a game break to talk Bioshock 2 with X-Play's Big Daddy, Adam Sessler, yeah. everybody. The Splicers are back. And this time they brought multiplayer. That was nice. Plus, Google's getting serious about social networking. Ooh. You'll find out what all the buzz is about in the loop. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the uh, name of the service. Uh, the buzz. What's the name of the... What? What goes wow. on in your window? What goes on over buzz. here? I know, it's crazy. How do you come up with that? There's just all sorts of wackiness on this side of the podium. All right, I'm going to continue then. We'll have Brandon T. Jackson from Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief in studio. It's time now. Oh. What are we going to do? We're going to run down the top five things on the web. You asked a question, you answered it before I even I had a chance. I did. Let's I, just go around the net. No, 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 let's just go. What? I will turn this show around. You do not fight with me. You never listen to me. Put on your seatbelt. I will pull the show over. You're not my mom. I'm not. Coming in at number five, we have just what the world needs, everybody. More Hasselhoff. Woo! Uh, lots more Hasselhoff, actually. Yeah. You're, wait, how did you want me to say this? You're, you're like Sean you're, Connery. You're the man now, dog. That wasn't bad. That was pretty good. Look. Oh my God. It was an improvement from rehearsal, but I mean, Whatever. you could have drooled on home base and you're... it would have been an improvement from rehearsal. Drool. I'm just, no, you weren't here for rehearsal. Give, give him one more. Give him, give him your Sean. Give him your Connery. You're the man now, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to take a moment to be impressed with myself right now. Go for it. Keep it quick. Hmm. All right. Well, they served up, <laughs> they served up this, uh, this meta serving of the Hoff and accidentally proved that Baywatch is even better when you subtract the hot bikini girls. What? what? Two little boy. Two little baby boy. <laughs> no. What no, that's man? terrible. That's what happened when you get a Hasselhoff wet, it's like gremlins. Oh. Yeah, someone should have listened to that wise old Chinese guy. Yes. Whatever you do, do not feed a Hasselhoff after midnight. <laughs> if you do, make sure it's a cheeseburger on the floor. He'll be too drunk to replicate. There you go. And that his daughter's around to tape it. Yes. I'm just not ready to fight off a, a hassle horde. So just be safe <laughs> and follow hassle the instructions. Horde! You like the hassle horde? I think that should be in gears next. What? Bye, everyone. I thought, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's a whip crack, but I guess we, we didn't. No. Is there anything? You got a bicycle bell? Or a lightning bolt? Or a... The, there we go, all right. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll That's take more it. of a, you got to shake your hand together, and then you hear the cowbell. Do we have the... No. Ah! That's the new thing. Like all the it. kids are going to be doing that on the playground when they're done with magic and getting beat up by cooler kids. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's never catching on. All right. You may remember RatherGood.com as the geniuses that created the little monkeys with the bad teeth that were later used in a Quiznos campaign. Yes. And today, Rather Good is back on the old internets for a number four video with a song that's it's actually pretty catchy, mm -hmm. if not maddeningly repetitive. Would you like to look at my potato? It just sits there being a potato. Would you like to look at my potato? It does not do anything at all. Would you like to look at my potato? It just sits there being a potato. Jesus. Yeah. That was a massive potato. 
tomato, actually. Head explode. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, okay, I, I just want to know one thing. What was with the uh, Viking doing just sitting there in the background? That the guy? Viking? See him? Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the bouncer. What? It's the bouncer. It's a secret backyard potato peep show. <laughs> Are you, you never know when looking leads to touching, so he's got to be there to make sure things are getting out of hand. It happens. It's fine. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll take it. Thank you. Touching. It, uh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Um, somewhere a missile launched. Uh, and at number three, we have a... Uh, <laughs> I was not going to say where. Uh, and at number three... Wait, wait, wait. Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends that's the cool thing to do. I would love to, I would love to have user submissions of like, something cool happening. Be like, dude, that was so rad. Cow me, bro. Yeah, all right. Uh, and at number three, we have Scrapple Weather from our spelunking friends at Woodshop Films. Um, now, see, after watching most local weathermen, you're probably thinking that, hey, any old guy off the street can report the weather, right? Yeah, probably. Well, yep. here's any old guy off the street reporting the weather. Hello, this is Anthony Law reporting from Scrapple Weather. Today's weather report. Forecast. Today's snow bitches. Tomorrow's snow bitches. A lot of people are going to be upset because they feel like they've gotten enough snow already. But you can't control Mother Nature. Just look behind us. See that big pile? It's going to get higher in the next 24 hours. Friday, sunny, must mother High and when... And when... Oh, high and when I say high, I mean as high as I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Snow bitches, not snow bitches. <laughs> bitches, yeah. It's kind of like, snow you're the man now, dog. You're instead the, of, you're the man now. You're no. the man now, dog. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, <laughs> I think after the snow apocalypse, that's going to be the only, only weatherman that we have left, and that's okay. Yeah, dude, I'll take hobo weather over AccuWeather every day. Yes. Right? <laughs> I would watch the Hobo Weather Channel. Yeah, Come to work. Weather, whatevs. I'm going to emulate a tornado in my jar of urine. Watch. <laughs> oh, there wow. it is. It's pouring rain in Los Angeles. It's buckets of snow on the East Coast. Nobody cares about the center. What's happening in the center of the country? Yeah, nobody cares. Nothing. Sorry. It's just 60 degrees have all cable? day. Are you even Did watching? I? Are you there, center of the country? Breathe through your nose. Do you have weather? What? Oh, oh now, now, we're, now we're upset about the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm getting tweets. Yeah, yeah exactly. There they went. Losing five more followers. No All right. In at number two today, we have another genius pairing from the YouTube doubler. Yes. Here's the Spice Girls wannabe married to the obnoxious Adam West Batman theme. Um, now everything is better and simultaneously worse. Good mix, actually. Uh, That's a pretty good mix. You know, it, it never occurred to me until now that the uh, the Spice Girls would have made great Batman villains. Yeah. What do you think? But like the 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 Dark Knight Batman, that, that he needs to fight them because Adam West is great and all, but the Spice Girls kind of deserve to be Christian Bale. Mm. <laughs> I deserve to be Christian Bale. All right. Well, touch some lights and I'll yell at you inappropriately. Go for it. That's such a turn. I'll make you feel. I'll make you feel worse about yourself. <laughs> Winter fun with snowmen. Oh, yeah. And shark coats. Ooh. And guns. Yes. Yeah. So We're going to visit guns. America. So Stick guns. around. Don't worry, middle of the country. We got something for you. We still are, yeah. Middle of yeah. the country. That's the the middle does Twitter. watch. Hi, Twitter. Thanks, guys. Uh, coming in at number one today is a gentleman and his buddies from somewhere in the Tennessee Valley where there's snow on the ground and fun in the air. Mm, this clip stars a true craftsman and a few of his creations. A mortar gun, also known as a fireworks shoddy. Of course. Oh, 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 and there's a snowman there, too. Are we good? Yeah, we're recording. Cassie, get back. What we're doing. Yes! The SWAT team 
you should use that to break up riots. I like how they use up all the snow in that field to make that one snowman. Yeah, well worth it. <laughs> now, these gentlemen of leisure, they, they know how to have a good time. Yes, and they know how to do it in style. I, I want you to check out what might be, uh, not hyperbole, the finest coat we have ever featured on this very program. What? <laughs> yeah. More I, I gotta say, any yokel can shoot a fireball into the trees, but when you're wearing that coat, you are doing it with class. You're damn right. Mm -hmm. They're like the, the Tennessee Valley Rat Pack. Yes. You know what I mean? All right, no, no, let's, uh, let's turn up the speed-fueled hellbilly soundtrack and uh, take a peek behind the curtain where the magic happens, shall yes. we? These guys apparently are impervious to fire safety regulations, or else they wouldn't be testing out their mortar gun while they're indoors. <laughs> stupid it's not gonna pick a fight with those guys ah hell no touche now one last thought about these heroes they like their space so here's why you shouldn't crowd them we done told you midgets get off our property and we may now i said now and then they cut off frosty's hands and fed his body to pigs real pros those guys yes real pros yes we salute these rural men of leisure excellent work gentlemen we've actually we've subscribed to your videos as everybody should but we're going to hold you to your promise of filming an upcoming mortar gun war do not let america down people mm -mm. want to see that mm -hmm. number one and if you're anything like us you're probably feeling really romantic after that. Hmm. <laughs> Earlier, we asked you to give us a call and tell us what your plans were for Valentine's Day. Yeah, and after listening to thousands of calls about masturbation and sobbing... His calls. Yeah. His. We thankfully came up with a few calls that were safe for your ears. Hey, this is Nerd Boner from Twitter, and I'm going to lay out some epic comic books and get naked and just roll around for Valentine's Day. Because comic books are my true love. Peace out. Uh, I don't know. Definitely not hang around my douchey grandma, that's for sure. She thinks there's stupid buried treasure in the backyard. <laughs> Idiot, I swear. I wasn't really sure. I'm... I would just sit on my couch, play Bayonetta, and make love to a couple pillows in my room. I mean, I did steal some jelly from the fridge, so I'll just go to town on that. Maybe a couple other items in the fridge. I'm not really sure. I'll get back to you on that. But remember, don't ever come to my house. You know, please, please, um... Speaking of, of Valentine's, I'm going to be at my place. The lights turn low and things are going to be wet. You may hear strange moans and occasional screaming. Because I'm going to be playing Bioshock 2. That's fine. Please welcome back x Plays Adam Sessler, everybody. Uh, you know, but I, well, while he's here... Your Valentine's Day, Adam. <laughs> Hells no. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> I'll shock two, everybody. Um, let's get into it. The first Bioshock, uh, I mean, brought us an amazing, really visceral underworld. Uh, it was an underground city known as Rapture. Um, you're looking at me like... No, 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 no. I, I, I'm in complete agreement with you. Oh, good. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it did. Well, what's going on in this game? Because I, I, I've heard complaints, first of all, that it doesn't, doesn't give you that same immersion right off the bat. That it yeah. sort of takes for granted that you already know Rapture and already love it. I, I, I think the reason why people are hearing that as complaints is that the first Bioshock was just kind of a, a watershed moment for mm -hmm. sort of modern games. It was such a good game. We said it was the best game in 2007. 
there's no way it can match that experience sure. of going there for the first time. That sense of mystery. A lot of gamers were, were straight up angry that anybody would dare to even attempt yes. a sequel at the game. And, and so. I would say, if, if I and I have to tip my hat to the, the the team that made the game. I mean, they had a real, real tough road to hoe, and they actually did a very, very solid game. Yes, it doesn't match that sense of wonder of the first sure. one, but there's a really, really good game under the hood. Well, they put us what ten years after the first yes. game back in Rapture. This time we are playing the role of a big daddy. You yes, you're a prototype big daddy. So you. You actually kind of have a history that goes before the fall of Rapture, but almost all the events in the game happen with you trying to find your special little sister, Eleanor, and there's a sort of a story attached to that. But really, you're a big daddy and you have a big drill hand. Well, there we go. Does, it, well, does the, the combat system and the new plasmid system, does that make you feel like you're playing a big daddy? Or? Um, I never really felt like I was playing a big daddy. I never felt like I had that much strength. I felt pretty mm -hmm. vulnerable as I did in the first game. But Emotionally, combat, as you were playing, or are you talking about... Oh, I always feel emotionally vulnerable. <laughs> I don't need a game to do that. <laughs> Really, that's how I escape my sense of emotional vulnerability. <laughs> um, no, it, it's the, the the combat's a lot better in this one because you can dual wield, so you can have a gun in one hand and active plasmas in the other. Nice. And the first game always had this promise that if you're really dynamic and you use different plasmas and you change all these bots over, you can do this cool combat. I never could do that. Mm -hmm. In this one, I've actually had some combat scenarios where I feel very you know, proud and accomplished when I'm done with it, which I couldn't have in the first one, probably because nice. I was too scared. And what about the, 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 the hacking system uses this sort of new, new quick time game, yes. which apparently doesn't bog down the action as much? No, because you have to, like, once you go into the hacking, you can still be shot and attacked. So you're kind the of world taking a doesn't hold. There's, excuse me, monsters, I'm <laughs> trying on, to pick I'm combo looking here. to my advantage yeah. over here. Yeah. No, um, it, it, it is a little bit tough. I would assume, I haven't tried this out, and if you have a CRT monitor, you're in some real trouble because it's uh, kind of happening right there at the bottom of your screen. Okay. But, you know, that's what happens. Well, they're used TVs. to tiny text issues and all exactly, those issues now, exactly. anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> um, and now Bioshock has multiplayer, which is something that nobody... I mean, there weren't cries from the no, first game no. of, like, why can't I play with my buddies? It was such a solid single player. And you know what? This is probably the one reason why everyone was so skeptical about the game. That sure. sounded like, kind of like, oh, well, you know. Hey, look what we'll also give this. you. Yeah. yeah. It, it, is, it, is it arc welded on? I mean, is it, it is, just totally no, tacked on? It's actually good. It was made by a separate team, mm -hmm. Digital Extremes, and it, it's solid. But here's what our reviewer said, Jake, Jake Askill, is that he's not very good at multiplayer, and he was good at this. And so kind of similar to Uncharted 2, which I really gravitated towards because I really suck at Call of Duty. Right. It's kind of this fun, different multiplayer. But if, if you are like a Call of Duty type of guy, mm -hmm. this is not going to rub your tummy. But is it, the, is it the kind of, will it still pet the back of my head months later? Will yes. it still coddle and, and me? breathe soothingly on it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's good. Is it, no, really, is it the kind of thing that people are going to be playing months and months down the road? Or is no. it, it's fun for now, and then they'll I, move it, on it, to the next multiplayer? Typically, multiplayer life, that does not have much right. of a long value. Okay. Uh, even with the ability to walk underwater, which was a big deal, uh, is it, it's, Point A to point B, right? When you're yeah. out in the water? Yeah. Um, if there, if there was on. one thing that I feel that someone kind of said, oh, I, th I think we should have more underwater in this game. And they're like, well, we can't really have sort of electricity and fire underwater. <laughs> no, no, no. Make it a rail shooter now. That's what the kids <laughs> like. In quick time um, events. It's there. It's not impressive. It's very brief in, in, in Oh, good. So it's not so. getting in the way. Yeah, it's, the like, way. It's, it's, it's not a point of complaint. Okay. Well, it sounds like, obviously, uh, uh, some would say an impossibly high bar to leap over. Um, it sounds like they did a good job. What did X-Play give it? What we you give it a four it? out of five. Um, if you're no a fan such. of the first one, you should be playing it. And even if you weren't, this might actually fill in those gaps that weren't satisfying to you from the first one. But if you didn't like that first one, you have a problem. Uh, we're out of time, but if you want, I can clap twice and you can tell us. Adam Sesso, everybody, thank you! Oh, yeah, I'll just clap a whole bunch. Bioshock 2 is in stores now. Thank you again, sir. No problem. Always a pleasure. Let's go over to Miss Allison Hayslip. All right, still ahead. Google's phone picked a fight with Apple, and now the search giant is going after Facebook and Twitter. Find out what Google's buzz is. Get it? And hi. On how it might change social networking in the loop. And then Brandon T. Jackson will be here to talk about Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Sea. We'll find out if any longer movie titles were ever considered. And later, we'll break your faith in humanity and a few bones in today's break moments in de evolution. Buzz. Here's a question for you Would you still eat meat if you had to watch everything you eat get slaughtered? You logged on to G4TV.com and told us what you thought, and we'll have the results after the break. The results are in, and 71% of you said that you would eat meat even if you had to watch it get slaughtered. With triple goodness. Log on to G4TV.com for more questions like this, and tell us just how far you go. Hey, everybody, we are live, and... Here are a few things that we think you should probably know about. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to that question that we just showed, because when I was in Australia, I ate a kangaroo burger and then fed a kangaroo. Whoa.
look weird, right? Okay, now I'm really going to feed you. Get it? Feed, and now I'm feeding? Whatever, it's fine. Thanks! All right, today is Wednesday, February 10th, and here are your top stories. Another day, another story about Google getting one step closer to controlling the world. The internet giant has announced plans to bring their own fiber optic network to, to, uh, to consumers. Uh, the, fiber, the dark fiber network, which Google already uses internally, will pump content into your home at speeds of up to, get this, one gigabyte per second. That's about 20 times faster. Oh, one gigabit. Sorry. They're I'm sorry. This just in. Allison doesn't know how to read teleprompter. It's gigabit, which is 20 times faster than cable. Still fast. Still, still fast. fast Allison. Still fast. Still very fast. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get back to this. Google already has a page up where you can nominate your community to be a part of the early trial. You can bet your ass I'm getting on that page and nominating my community. They say they'll offer the service soon, as soon as the a competitive price to as many as 5,000 people to start. Fingers crossed. Here, L.A., can we get it? Yes, no? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> and we've got even more Google news for you. All right, you've heard of the Street View car and the Street View tricycle. Well, now Google has just built the Street View snowmobile. Yeah. Another high-tech piece of machinery intended to record the physical world for the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. The snowmobile will be driven around the games to create detailed maps and has already been able to capture snow runs on the Whistler Black Co Mountains, the top of 7th Heaven chairlift, and a couple of peaks where alpine skiing events will start. According to Google, they wanted to capture some beautiful imagery and have it available to everyone around the world to see so they can really experience what it's like to be up there on the slopes ahead of time, just without the whole cold part. And finally, Tom Cruise has agreed to reprise the role of Ethan Hunt in a fourth installment of the Mission Impossible franchise, which has today grossed over $1.4 billion worldwide. Cruise will produce the sequel with MI3 director J.J. Abrams, and alias scribes Josh Applebaum and Andre Nemec are handling the script. Abrams won't direct this movie, so the studio is looking. So get your reels ready, people. I'd like to nominate Penny Marshall. I think that'd be interesting. Oh, Penny Marshall? <laughs> so funny. Think of their own. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> MI4 is slotted for release on Memorial Day weekend 2011. I'm Allison Hayslip, and you've just been fed. I know, Grandma. Penny Marshall. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta do the feed. Okay, I love you, too. Mm, and kisses. Uh, Google kind of wants to be your everything. I mean, the search giant even wants to spoon with you. And now, they want to be all up in your social networking? What? Meet Google Buzz, the latest social networking app and Google's attempt at aggregating all the media that you care about. Integrated directly into your Gmail, Buzz will automatically find the people you talk with the most and stream their status updates, links, pictures, and video in real time. And for even more updates, sites like Twitter, Picasa, Flickr, and Google Reader can also be connected to your stream. Buzz is already mobile as well. Load it up in a browser on your Android phone or iPhone to start geotagging your posts or even see a map of buzzing friends in the neighborhood. Google's newest entry into the crowded social networking space may be simple and slick, but will it have what it takes to slay the social giants? And come on, do we really need another service telling people what we're up to every minute of the day? Hear what the buzz is about. It's the loop. Okay, now before we start, some of you may be aware that I'm soon launching a web service that might actually mirror some functionality found in Google Buzz. I want to make it clear that any criticisms of Google service are solely my opinions of Google Buzz and nothing else. With that said, joining me by a satellite to help us make sense of it all, Ben Parr, co-editor of Mashable, is here. Welcome to The Loop. Ben, how are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, let me give you my, my, my quick impression of Google Buzz. Um, I, I love everything that Google does, but it feels like they, they launch a product and it's in beta and it seems 80% complete, or maybe it gets to 80% complete. And then they mash it up with another, another product that's also 80% complete, and it sort of feels like, okay, that overall experience is now 60%. Does it feel like Google Buzz is that sort of product to you at this point? Well, that's actually a pretty good description of it. Uh, Google Buzz still has a lot of different features that need to be put in. If you look at profiles, for example, they are completely just like white pages compared to a Twitter or Facebook profile. 
Um, what, what are they actually trying to do with, with Google Buzz, though, Ben? Are they trying to dethrone Facebook, or they just want to add... Yeah, they wanted to throw in Twitter with this, or is it just giving Gmail more functionality, trying to keep people on the site? I think they want a slice of the social pie. It's such a huge market right now, especially Facebook and Twitter. I don't think they think that they're going to beat it, but they definitely want to have a piece of it. And, and their approach, I mean, despite the fact that it obviously needs some work and some polish, I mean, clearly we're a day into the service, so things are going to get better. Do you have high hopes for Buzz at this point? I'm more hopeful that, for Buzz than I was two days ago when I first learned about the service. I thought it was going to be a piece of junk, but it's actually kind of useful. So what, 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 what are you finding is actually useful about Buzz, Ben? How are you using it? Uh, I've been getting, you get, I get a lot of streams every day from a lot of my different friends, and I'm, people are starting to send me just I interesting information. And it's also a good distribution tool if you're a business. You can send out uh, articles, you can send out links. Mm -hmm. It's a good sharing tool. And, but some people are concerned that it might share a little too much. They're saying there could be security slash privacy issues with, with Google Buzz sort of opening up your, your world to everybody you've communicated with. Um, is, that, is it too early to tell, or are there actually some security issues here? I think there might be some privacy issues, and Google, it's I, kind of trying to figure out how they miss some of these. One of the big ones is that you, when you uh, first join the service, mm -hmm. all of your friends uh, are automatic, you automatically follow people based on who you've been emailing. So if you've been emailing, for example, you know your mistress, she'll appear as one of the people you're following, and then you know there'll be Ooh. questions asked. Yeah, yeah, and she'll be like, oh, those, why, why do most of your photos have me in them? I don't remember being there for those. <laughs> Yeah, you exactly. don't remember. Um, Buzz is still rolling out, but, but so far social network integration is very limited. Um, what's to come? What, what are they going to add to Buzz in the next few months that's going to get us actually excited? Mm, I would say Facebook, but I don't think Facebook will allow it. I think you're going to just see more services added in, and I think you'll see a lot of the Google Apps accounts, the corporate accounts, so that anyone with any email address right. can join the Google Buzz service. What about the mobile experience, Ben? Does that excite you? Mobile experience is actually quite good, although it's confusing. So you can bring your mobile phone, you can pull it out, you can check into, you can buzz at a location, it'll detect where you are, it'll detect nearby buzz. But people are still trying to figure out, is it more like Foursquare? Is it more like Twitter? I think they need to define that more. Sure. Um, and what about the, the other companies, like the Facebooks and the Microsofts and the Yahoos of the world? We know they sort of responded yesterday. What's, what's the, uh, the corporate sentiment about uh, Google Buzz? Well, publicly, both Yahoo and Microsoft kind of brush aside saying, like, eh, people don't need another service. We already have this kind of thing in our email services. Uh, internally, I think they're probably more scared than they realize because I don't think anyone expected such a fleshed-out product, although it's still far from complete. All right, Ben, are, are they going to give up on this thing in a couple of weeks, or are they, gonna, are they in it for the long haul? Is Google too late to the social networking party to make this happen? They're late, but probably not too late, and I definitely think they will invest in this in the long haul. All right, Ben Parr from Mashable.com, thank you so much for keeping us in the loop, and best of luck with all the mistresses that you, uh, you share your content with in the near future. Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, full disclosure, I'm not one of those. I don't know why that was, maybe it was Allison? Allison, was he talking to you there? Totally you, Sketchball. What? <laughs> all right, ready to get your gaming on? It's time to attack this. Now, if you've been getting your ass owned in Modern Warfare 2 lately, you might need to rethink your game plan, or you could improve your controller with Control Freak's new joystick enhancers. These attachments are designed to give you extra control on both your PS3 and 360. The FPS Freak adds leverage and control by extending your joystick. The Speed Freak enhances your racing games by keeping your fingers in constant contact with the joystick and allowing for sharper movements. Now, some might call this cheating, but I call it having the upper hand. You can get an uh, you can get you can order a set of two at controlfreak.com for only 18 bucks. That's pretty sweet. Now every now and then game companies get bit by the nostalgia bug and feel like they have to give back to the consumers of yesterday. This time the nostalgia bug got a hold of Sega and they're prepping to release the Sega Zone. It's a revamped version of the old Genesis with the addition of motion controllers. The console will come loaded with 20 classic Sega games like Sonic and & Knuckles and Kid Chameleon, including sports games like darts and good old ping pong. Now, call me crazy, but if they threw in a Dreamcast emulator, then this might be the best system ever. Oh, Dreamcast, we hardly knew thee. I want to know what happened to the one that used to be in our lobby. Now look for the Sega Zone to drop this summer for $80. 
If you've been gaming with the crappy factory mouse that came with your PC, then you aren't performing at 100%. Don't argue with me, because I know this for a fact. What you need is a high-octane gaming peripheral, and the cyborg rat is just that. This new mouse from Mad Cats is completely customizable to fit the palm of your hand. The length, thumb rest, and weight can all be adjusted to your liking. Never again will you get fragged due to an improperly fitted mouse. Mad Cats will release this little fellow later this spring, and prices will start at 50 bucks. Now, as far back as we can remember, those SOBs in the gaming biz have been talking about virtual reality, and they never deliver. SOBs. Luckily, we are one step closer, and it's all thanks to the Swedes. Swedes! Check out Sport Pong. It's an augmented reality game where you can interact with a projected gaming environment. Sensors transform your feet into paddles as you wail on a ball of light. The rules of Pong are the same, but the game has completely changed. And I guess this means we're one step closer to a holodeck, which will totally kick ass. Now, if you happen to live in Sweden, which I doubt you do because they totally don't get our show over there, you can rent this projected game for your next party. Go to sportpong.com for more info. Head on over to g4tv.com slash AOTS for info on all of this gaming gear and more. Stay tuned. Brandon T. Jackson will be here live to talk about lightning thieving. Stick around. You know, all this time I thought like a Seder was a delicious Jewish feast, and then I saw this. Sally, watch out! Whoa, whoa. Is it me or is it raining cows? What is that? Should I switch to Geico? Brandon G. Jackson, everybody! What up? What's up? You never know where to yell in the studio. It's just I like, know, hey! I, I, I love the, the crowd back there. What's up, y'all? Y'all doing? Yeah! yeah! Woo! Mostly transients. <laughs> We do a we do a bread line after the after each interview, so we I just get them it. in off the street. You guys are live. You guys give me energy. Well, they're very excited to have you here, and I, I'm psyched to have you here as well because I have to ask. But Percy Jackson and the Olympians: colon, the Lightning Thief. Do you right. do you hate Twitter because you can't fit the name of the movie <laughs> in a so, post? It's so long, dude. It's, it's a long it's title. Percy Jackson, the Olympians, the Lightning Thief, and have go and say it or slash but, yeah. or say it. <laughs> the crazy thing is like Percy Jackson sounds like not like this, but it sounds like an African American name. So people think You must be Percy yeah, Jackson, like, right? Like, dude, did that come with a Cadillac? Like, no. <laughs> So the soundtrack's all soul music, right? Yeah, it's right. Like Percy yeah. Jackson and the I tried, and the I tried to get uh, T, me and T Pain did a song for the for the movie, but they they cut it out because it went. I do a dance in the movie if you see it, but it was going too long. But I was like, it it stops to be like a big music video. So shout out to T Pain. I know the music didn't make <laughs> it, but you know. oh, wait, wait, wait. For those who didn't get it from the clip, you're a satyr, which which isn't a Jewish fe Jewish feast. It's a half goat, half man thing. Yeah. So are you doing a dance with the goat legs? With the goat legs. You're doing like a goat shuffle, like yes, a, goat a goat step. We did a whole thing to Lady Gaga. Shout out to her, which I love. But it, we tried to make the movie hit. What is going on in this movie? It's, it's, oh, it's, it's crazy. T Pain, Lady Gaga, goats <laughs> doing the electric slide. Uh, it's dope. And and someplace in there, there's magic and powers and Greek mythology? Yeah, definitely. Well, we, we tried to make it hip. Like, okay, for example, it's like you got all these, these mythical movies and all these movies that's about, you know, like Twilight and, and all these fantasy films. We try to do something that's going to, you know, be like relative to us. Like we go to Vegas, we go to Nashville, you know. It's, yeah, it, seems, like, it's, it definitely seems like it has quite a, quite a bit more edge than yeah. some of the other films of the same kind of genre. Because it, it takes place in like our reality, you know what I'm saying? Like what if I was your best friend, right? Brooklyn, New York, but now you didn't know that you're the son of Poseidon and I'm half goat and now it's time to get you. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you know? right. But when they pitched it to me, I'm like, okay, I, I yeah. get it. But I, you know, it, it I would great. shear you and sell your fur on the internet, Let's like, go. A, like an alpaca. Let's go. I bet there's money to be made there. Uh, what is? What, I mean, the, the satyrs are these sort of. Uh, the, you're a half man, half goat, but you're like a sex charged kind of crazy. Yeah, beast it's, as well. a, it's a hormone. It's from mythology. As uh, as a hormone, 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 hormonally <laughs> driven creature is uh, is like uh, they represent the earth. They're kind of earth childs and kind of. Uh, it's like if you watch the scene with me and Rosario Dawson, like me and her are flirting a lot. Mm -hmm. in the film mm -hmm. is a lot of like adult undertones so you guys so if parents and everybody go see it they don't get bored by the film too sure. it's, it's definitely people think it's a kids movie it's a movie for everybody you see like men in black you see like these type of films that are like pg pg-13 right. it's like you know you just well there's just, nods to, to adult stuff in there like when you're in vegas you mentioned that you're you're kind of gnawing on these hallucinogenic lotus flowers yeah which yeah. is which is a little bit more than a nod yeah uh, well, we, we we you know i mean i could speak on that as the one everybody the, the studio called me but it is uh <laughs> I think it's way too late for that. I know because we, we, we take we take a, uh, a, a, a hallucinant drug. Uh, not, uh, not, not drug. No, no, not a drug kid. It's a lotus flower. <laughs> and it, it, what it is, it takes off the, the myth of Odysseus when they stayed and they got sidetracked from their journey right. and from their quest. And people are saying it's like a drug, but it's not. It's, the family-friendly message is if it's herbal, it's okay, kids, <laughs> right? That's the, he said that. No, I just, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it. I think, I think it would have been much better if you just cracked open a nice cold booty sweat. Yeah, right? Let's in the film and kicked it back. You were phenomenal in that film. Thank sir. you. Phenomenal. Tropical with a booty sweat. Um, did, did working on a movie like that, that must have been <laughs> there. So there it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that video was not cut from the from yeah. that movie. That's my radar R version. Yeah, that there you go. There was you this go. one? Was that? Was <laughs> that wasn't like the video that you did with T Pain? Yeah, no, film, no, right? yeah, no. Actually, it was a little bit, <laughs> like, but, <laughs> but just with goat it, ass. It, it got cut out. Face. Yeah, that's Robert being. I, my mom came to the set. She thought that was Don Cheeto, so that was kind of. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was crazy. That's yeah right. Did that change? Like, because uh, uh, you you're a stand up guy. Like, you're a, you're a comedian yeah. first and foremost. Was working on a set with other guys that are that are funny in sort of similar different similar genres. Did that did that change you well, as helped, a performer as a? Comedian? It helped me with my comedic chops. I gotta be honest. Like, I mean, I'm the only one like in these fantasy movies that's kind of a comic, and that's why you know I I, I, I spoof like different things. Sure. Like, I mean, even I spoofed I spoofed Twilight the other day. That is, it's on it's on like Funny or Die right now, right? Yeah, yeah, did, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, you yeah, did, yeah. yeah. Like, that's, What's the <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, even me. We did a big sketch about uh, Dark Moon. Yeah, What's Dark street. Moon? <laughs> Dark Moon is uh, the inside stories of African American vampires, and uh, you know, it's like uh, it's. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I love that you're. Li that's by the way. <laughs> Brandon, just so you know, that's a clip from something you made. You're like, I don't even know what that is no, right there. I don't know what we're looking at. It's, I don't it's pretty much the introspective guy that's too sensitive. And it, I'm just making fun of the whole, you know, I'm so sensitive. Yeah. That whole thing, those those guys. But it, it, it's just a fun thing. I learned the same, I learned it from Ben Stiller. He really taught me a lot in, in film and how to direct your own things. And shout out to people at Fun Your Die who uh, taught, you know, who we work together. We collaborate on the video. Absolutely. If, if, if you want to check it out, you can go to FunYourDie.com. Hit FunYourDie.com. You have a Twitter uh, where of time but i want to i want to get that oh, out yeah. so people can follow you what's your twitter yeah I'm, I'm trying to catch up with everything but twitter twitter me at brandon t jackson you can twitter me anytime i'm brandon always on and and yeah just hit me dude it's, it's crazy Will i love do. i love this show thank you so much for coming on it's a pleasure to here you guys percy jackson and the olympians the lightning thief the official movie film <laughs> opens this friday check it out and figure out the acronym so you can tweet it <laughs> go to allison <laughs> Idiots travel to undiscovered places of stupidity. It's break moments and de evolution up next. Coming up tomorrow on an all new AOTS, the Bear Jew himself, Eli Roth, will be here to talk about the unrated Cabin Fever DVD. And then in Gadget Prawn, we'll review the Shuttle Gaming PC. Good things come in small packages with lots of performance for just 600 bucks. And things get hairy when Chris Gore talks to Benicio Del Toro and Anthony Hopkins about Wolfman. See it tomorrow. Now, folks, the people you're about to meet have not been coached in any way. Yeah, otherwise they wouldn't be killing themselves for our amusement. Right.
We didn't actually do that. It's a graphic that's built. We didn't chat. I'm sorry. Every week I forget to mention that. People are so, oh, you're amazing. Wizardry. It'd be no, a it's whole a lot cooler if we did. We could. Mm, I think we should. All right. We'll just roll out a plexiglass thing and then, like, yeah, we'll, kick I'll, it. I'll toss you through it. I'll, I'm for it. Done. If we make that happen, I am for it. Hardcore hayslip. Go. All right. Only do All it right. once. Fact. The human spine is one of the most delicate and vital components to a properly functioning nervous system. Oh, uh, here's an idea. Why don't you whip it with a giant stick? <laughs> oh! oh. Stay still. shirt over his head to do that too <laughs> yeah. what was the point of that i don't know I, I would say to hide the shame but he's gonna have the perma right. stripe on his or back or it's like to not see it but he's lying face down yeah. like, you, you can't look for logic in a break video allison that's that's, that's mistake number that's one my problem. That's, <laughs> that's my problem that's your first things. error logic always gets in the way all right this week's rating system is freelance dentist so how many how many are we gonna give them uh good vid i want to start out slow though let's give right. out of five let's see where it goes let's see where it goes i like it i like it Ah, uh, finally, here's a couple of dudes <laughs> trying a crafty backyard stunt. All right, just accept it, parents. It's probably a bad idea to encourage your kids to play outside. Uh. Oh, 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 his arm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Sort of like, oh, that, that fall made my back itch. Oh, it's a good thing I can get it now because <laughs> oh my, my arm is totally I, tweaked. I swear one day these videos should just be of me seeing these videos for the first time because, like, I can't handle it. You, you give, like, a very two girls reaction to anything. Like, you just sort of, re yeah, there it was. You kind of, no matter what it is, you make that face. <laughs> I didn't say the cup. We're still safe. All right. All How many right. are we giving them? Um, I'm going to go four out of five with yeah. that. Thanks, dum dums. Yeah, you were fun while you lasted. For hey, slip, and then through it, you'll go. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back. I want you to have pieces of break in your face when we're done with that stuff. Oh, it's awesome. like stabbed up here with like yeah. blood dripping down. We'll get 400 bones for it. Hey, go to g4tv.com/slash AOTS for all the things we saw today. More. Uh, Thanks to Allison Hayslip. Oh, you no! Oh, oh, no, we missed it. You went to shake my cowbell. You can't shake my cowbell. I thought you liked your cowbell. You can't shook. pound a wood block. Come on, get in there. Yeah. I like it. Uh, thanks to Ben Parr point. from Mashable. You were great in the loop. And a huge thank you to Brandon T. Yay! Jackson. Yes, what a now fun a guy. Fan of our show. What a great guy. <laughs> he thought we were a kid's show, by the way. All right, stick around. Human Wrecking Ball starts right now. Good night, people. Uh, Call me. Bye.